out there. Um, this is a little video to help um, parents and students with this virtual learning in this world we're in. Um, so hopefully this video will help you understand how to do Google Classrooms, Seneca um, and RM Unify. Okay, um, so here we go. First of all then, what we need to do is we need to get to RM Unify. Let me show you how to do this. So you're, you're just going to type in Bishop Luffer and that will take us to the school website. Let's close that. And on this right hand side, you've got all the useful links, okay? And you'll see all the things you need, your parent mail, etc. And here, this one is RM Unify. If you click on to RM Unify, you'll come to this screen. So when you get to RM Unify, you just put in your whole um, email address, which is the year you started your house and your surname, initial and first name at bishopluffer.org.uk and your password. Their password will be um, the password whenever they log on to computers or you log on to computers, that's what you do. And you click sign in. And you come to your home page like this. Now yours might have Google Classroom you've done in your IT lessons on this screen or maybe it doesn't. If it doesn't, don't worry. Just click on the house here, okay, and you can search for up here. If you type in Google Classroom and click it, there it is. And here you've got a little eye symbol, click on that, and it says remove from launchpad. In yours, if you haven't got it, it would say add, add to my launchpad, and click that, and then it will be here. So it's always then easy to get it every time. Okay, so that's finding Google Classroom. Stage two, joining a class. Okay. okay, your Google Classroom looks like this. This is my daughter's one, so she's got her ones on. Um, but let me show you how you join a class if you haven't done already. You click on this little cross here and you press join class. And then you're on Frog, you will have been given a code. Okay, I've just flipped to a different classroom, but here you go, it comes up like this. So you click the little plus button, and let me say, okay, let's do 7G. I'm going to type in the class code, Q-E-C-C-K-N-E, -C -C and I'm going to click join the class. It then appears like this, okay? So, um, and you'll come to, come to here. What I suggest you do is use the classwork tab. And then it will be much easier to find your work because it will be in folders, okay, for you to find. And on the right here, it says the due dates, etc. So you know when your work is due and what you need to do, okay. And here you'll see it says Seneca, Geography of the World. Here we go. And it tells me what I need to do, okay. And no attachments in this one. So I need to now sort out my Seneca. The code is written in there. So I'm just going to copy that across. I'm going to show you how to get to Seneca. To get to Seneca, just type in Seneca, click on that, and then we're going to log in here. And you'll come to Seneca. Now, if you haven't already um, logged in, it will or it will ask you to to um, um, to register or sign in. So just do follow it, sign up or log in. Okay, so just follow the steps. It's very simple, just put in your first name, surname, etc. in. Okay, and then you'll come to a screen like this. If you click on classes and assignments, you'll have it here. Okay, and so this is some join or you join some classes and then you click on join class. In here, you're going to put in as your Seneca code that you've been given. I've just copied it across and pasted it in and then I click join class and it will come up like this. I've typed it in the wrong time the first time. So here we go. Here's your class code and here's your class. Okay. So you'll see here assignments. Now if you can't see anything here you can go to the past assignments or the upcoming assignments and all you do is you start to click on it and you work through the assignments. So it will just say Geography in America and you click Start Learning. 
and it will come with information. You, you click through, finding the information, and you scroll down, and then it will ask you some questions. You press continue, and then it will start with some questions. Okay. Now, one last thing which is quite useful to do is um, if you go to your uh, RM Unify, okay, so you don't have to search every time and put the things in, you can add new ones here, okay? So I'm just going to see if I can do that for you. So I'm going to go to, I'm on my launch pad, okay. You can click search pad and you'll get another one up like this. Um, I find this really helpful, so I know that I just go to RM Unify and I've got everything I need there. And you can click Add here, and you can either get it from this library of ones we did with Google Classroom, or we can do this personal tile. Let me show you how you do this. You click on here, personal tile. I want to have Seneca, so I type in Seneca on my home screen. I can go up to Seneca up here, I'm going to copy that code across, okay, paste it into here. Um, I'll just generate a thumb load. I can make it images, but I'm not going to bother with that now. And just press OK. And now I have Seneca there. So instead of searching and finding, I've got it there. And if you're all sharing computers, you just go to your own RM Unify. You have your codes and all the everything, username and password set up for you. So that's quite nice to have on there. You can do the same thing with Frog. Um, you can memorize any other sites. You literally follow that same pathway. OK, I hope that's helpful. If you want any other advice, then email me, um, wilburnm at bishopluffer.org.uk, and I'll give you some help. OK, thank you. Bye. -bye.